Hi all, it's Denise and I am here doing a little voiceover on a video I worked out yesterday in the Five Arts Studio when I was there. I added the final details to this painting that you can see happening in my last video. It was a, an abstract painting I had done several years ago, maybe four years ago. I really liked elements of it. I loved the colors that I was working with. So I decided to go ahead and change it up. And what I'm doing right here is I decided to add some more papers in. So I grabbed my French dictionary and pulled out a few pages and painted them pink, letting the text continue to show through. And I'm just adding them here and there around the painting to kind of unify it and bring a little bit more pink in, a little bit more softness into the painting. And while I have a liquid medium on my brush, I'm also taking a few minutes to go and set in some of my Stabilo pencil lines. If you've watched my videos before, you know I'm a big fan of the Stabilo pencil, especially the black pencil. I love a black line, I love the detail, and I love a very pointy sharp Stabilo pencil. So I will go in and do some drawing and um, just some scribbles here and there just to add some, a little bit of detail. With a Stabilo pencil, it is water soluble, so it's very important that you set in that pencil before you varnish or finish your piece off, otherwise it's going to smear. So while I'm laying my flowers down with the medium, I go ahead and go over some of the lines of my pencil just to set it in so I can make sure that I'm not going to smear it as I go along. And while I'm at it, I'm finding a couple little chunks of paper that I think needed to, must be added into this piece. Again, here is the Stabilo pencil. Unlike a watercolor pencil, the Stabilo has a nice soft lead to it. Uh, it. It goes down really nicely, and then I take a small brush with liquid medium on it and go over the Stabilo lines and kind of smear them. I can make them go away. I can make them look very watercolory, but mainly I want to get them set in. Once I get get it looking the way I want, I want to set it in so it doesn't smear uh, later on. In the Another one of my favorite tools in my art box when I'm getting to down towards the end are my oil pastels. I really enjoy the marks I can make with them. I can pump up the color. I can add some texture. It's just a different element. Um, I could do the same thing with paint, but I really enjoy the texture and what the oil pastel adds to a finished piece. So I do usually save that to the very end. With oil pastels, they are oil pastels. So um, you need to treat them differently. You can't just leave them without putting a top coat over them you because they don't really ever dry and you can smear them so when i'm done i oftentimes i will spray my oil pastels with a workable fixative to set them in and then i go right over them with my whatever i'm finishing my piece off with usually it's a poly acrylic that i use a satin finished poly acrylic to finish off my pieces
And one more final little detail. You'll notice on the right hand side there's a red flower with a white uh, surround and I just needed to repeat that white and I didn't want a big chunk of white. I just needed a little detail so I used my Posca pen and added that white line in to indicate a flower. And I think I'm pretty much done. Um, I'm going back now and cleaning up the frame. I had painted the frame black right into the painting and now I'm going back just to uh, clean up the lines and finish it off and sign my name. It's a done deal. So I hope you enjoyed watching my process. Click the video at the end to head back and see the abstract painting turn into the floral before this detailed video. This is one of the pieces that I will have available at Art Walk Little Italy on April 30th and May 1st in San Diego. And let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments below. I would love a thumbs up and I'd love it if you subscribe so you can see what I'm up to in my studio. And thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.